in filmmaking. Is sound design really that important? Roll B-roll. Watch it again, this time with sound design. Now you tell me, is sound design really that important? Hey, what's up guys? This is Ryan Denshal and boy, maraming maraming salamat po ulit sa pagbabalik nyo dito sa channel ko. Last video, we talked about some rules of filmmaking and binanggit ko rin doon na when you are making a film or creating a film, you should always consider 50% video and 50% audio to produce a 100% quality. But today, let's not focus on visuals or video muna. Let's focus on the words audio and sound. Alam ko hindi kasing exciting ng video ang audio. Yeah, o oh, alam ko yon mas magandang pag-usapan ng visuals or ang video, nice angles and stuff. But we need to focus on audio din. Audio plays a big role in filmmaking. Kasi alam nyo ba, some say na audio or sound is 70% of what you see in a film. Bakit nila nasabi yun? Kasi for example tayo, pag nanood tayo ng video with a low resolution quality like a CCTV footage, natatagalan natin. Pero subukan mong manood ng video na garalgal o malakas o ang pangit ng audio, sigurado ko hindi mo yun matatagalan o hindi mo yun tatapusin. Why? Kasi audio is the first thing that our brain recognizes. For example, maraming videos na kumakalat na isang napaka-linaw na video and then all of a sudden biglang may umungol na babae. Alam ko, na-victima ka na rin nun. ba? Diba? Bigla mo na lang i-stop yung video kasi hindi kaaya-ayang pakinggan. Oo, kaaya-ayang panoorin pero hindi mo matiis panoorin hanggat pangit yung audio. Tama ba ako? Sound brings us closer to the world of our films. It enhances the storytelling. Hindi lang dapat puro visuals ang pagtuunan mo ng pansin. There are three layers of sound in your film. First layer dyan ay yung narration or yung voiceover or yung interview ng video mo. Yan yung pinakakalansay. That's the foundation. Ito yung storytelling mo. The second level is the background music or the musical scoring. This sets up the mood. Kung dramatic or action-packed or um, suspense. And the third layer which is, I think, also is an important layer, is the sound design. Sound design is the layer of sound in your film that brings depth. 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 Basta yan. Sound design brings depth to your storytelling. Sound design immerses us inside that world na gusto nating ma-experience ng viewers natin. Yan yung huni ng ibon, yan yung tunog ng tubig or ng dagat habang umaalon, yan yung tunog ng apoy habang may siga, yan yung whoosh sound effect kapag ka may transition. That is sound design. Binubuhay niya yung eksena mo. Kung meron tayong B-roll as your video support, Sound design is your audio support. If sound design is the third layer sa film mo, meron din namang layers itong sound design. First layer is the ambient sound or yung ambience or yung tunog ng surroundings dun sa eksena mo. For example, sa tingin nyo, saan nangyayari yung eksena? This is an ambient sound of a street, of a busy street. So alam mo na ngayon, as a viewer, kahit hindi mo nakikita yung video, alam mo na ngayon kung nasaan nangyayari yung eksena. Diba? That is the first layer of your sound design, the ambient sound. The second layer, and I think uh, one of the most important din na layers ng sound design, ay yung cinematic sound. Ito yung mga specific sounds na naririnig mo frame by frame. Kunwari, ito. Itong eksenang to ay nasa beach tayo. And ito ko na naglalakad sa buhangin. Ngayon, i-add naman natin yung first layer which is yung ambient sound. Ngayon na may ambient sound na, ilagay naman natin yung cinematic sound which is yung paglalakad ko sa buhangin. 
O di ba, mas nabuhay ngayon yung eksena. Ito naman isa pang example na ginawa ko for Rad Fitness. Ngayon na nailagay na natin yung ambient sound, isunod naman natin yung cinematic sound. Unahin na natin yung punch hits. Ngayon na may punch hits na, pwede nating lagyan pa ng grunts para mas maramdaman natin yung intensity ng training niya. O ba diba, mas maayos na. Pero lagyan pa natin ng konting swoosh sound effect para mas maramdaman pa natin yung movement. So ngayon panoorin natin without sound design and with sound design. Ngayon, kung curious kayong malaman o makita ang itsura ng sequence o timeline ko, eto siya. On these audio tracks, I have my ambient sounds. On this audio track naman, I have my musical scoring. On this audio track, I have my punch hits. Dito naman yung mga grunts. In here, I added naman extra breathing sounds para mas dramatic pa yung feel. And these are the swoosh sound effects. So ganyan ang itsura ng sequence ko every time na nagsa-sound design ako. Ngayon, kung gusto nyong malaman, yung La Union ex Baguio. Ito ang itsura ng sequence ko nung ginawa ko yung sound design ng La Union ex Baguio. Diba? Makikita nyo na mas maraming audio layers kaysa sa video layers dahil nga importante rin yung sounds sa films ninyo. Some say, some people say, some filmmakers say or some viewers say that sound design is cheating. Well, you're wrong. Kasi sa Hollywood, ginagawa rin ito. Kaya may musical scorer, may sound designer, may composer. Yung trabaho ng sound design na yun is to record the specific or the cinematic sound, the ambient sound. Iba pa yung nagre-record ng dialogues. Take note. So don't think that sound design is cheating because it will never be cheating if it enhances your film. Now, let's talk about where to get these sound effects or these sounds para sa sound design mo. Una, pwede mong gamitin yung mismong nasagap ng onboard camera mic mo. But, if you have a boom mic attached to your camera like this, a shotgun mic, this is a Rode Video Micro, mas mapapaganda nito yung quality ng audio na masasagap ng camera mo. If you want to record your sound independently ng walang camera, pwede kang gumamit ng Zoom H1. This is a handy recorder. It has an XY mic para stereo yung sounds mo. And this is much better than uh, this shotgun mic kasi stereo yung sounds na makukuha mo dito. So may mas depth yung sound effects na marerecord mo with the Zoom H1. This is the affordable way of doing it. But kung may budget ka, gumamit ka ng dedicated boom mic or ng mas malalaking boom mic or shotgun mic para mas maganda yung quality ng sound effects mo. You can use like a Rode NTG3 with a Zoom H4n. Kung talagang kakaririn mo yung sound design mo at gusto mo sariling sounds mo ang gagamitin mo, that is the right way of doing it. Kasi ganyan gawin talaga yan sa mainstream movies. Pero what if um, wala kang budget or wala kang time to record your sounds but you have time to surf around the net for sounds. Well, there are two places na may re-recommend kong punta nyo. First one is the free way or the free website to get your sound. And this website is called freesound.org. Magre-register ka lang dyan and then magla-log in ka and then you can search all the sounds you need. May mga hindi ganun kagagandang quality dito sa website na to but marami rin naman ang magagandang quality na nandito. This is where I get most of my sound effects dito sa website na to freesound.org but kung may budget ka naman at hindi problema sa ang pera maybe you can check out epidemic sound bro nandito talaga lahat ng magagandang sound effects mas malaki yung sound effects library niya kaysa sa freesound.org pero medyo hindi ma medyo may may bayad talaga 
dito sa Epidemic Sound. But I guarantee you, hindi lang sound effects ang nandito kasi meron din silang musical scoring or background music. And I highly recommend Epidemic Sound para dyan sa sound effects library na gusto mo. Again guys, sound design should only enhance the storytelling sa mga films mo. Don't use it to distract your viewers. Make it subtle. Sobrang sakto lang yung volume levels para hindi ma-distract or para hindi masira yung mood ng film mo. So next time na you make your own film, make sure na paglalaanan mo rin ng oras yung paglalatag mo ng sound design kagaya ng paglaan mo ng oras sa paglatag mo ng visuals mo. So yun lang naman ang importance ng sound design. Siguro sa mga next videos ko, gagawa naman ako ng importance of musical scoring or background music kasi isang mahalagang parte rin yan ng filmmaking. Again, this has been Ryan Denshal and thank you so much for being here. If natripan mo or nagustuhan mo or napanood mo yung ibang videos at sinabing, uy, okay ito ah, pasubscribe naman. I-click mo lang yan. Yan, yan, yan. 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 Pati yung bell notification. Para ma-notify ka every time na may bago akong video. Again, thank you so much for watching and see you and hear you. See that? Yeah. In the next video.